Alright guys, after almost being two weeks away from Puzzle and Dragon Sea, I am back with part 63 of the series so far. Hopefully you guys are doing well, and as you know, we are on the final level of the fourth labyrinth. The Sky Dragon, the Blue Sky Dragon, is there waiting for us. Now I actually did attempt this, and um, just kind of like get a feel for it, just get back into things, because it's been two weeks since I've been away. I was a little rusty and I just thought I'd try and get back into things. Um, so I do have a little bit of experience with this level, and, and I actually did acquire one of the dragon stones now before we do dive in we'll see which help we should take with us I, do, I usually don't really care about my helpers too much but now it's kind of like a crucial time in the game so gotta choose wisely um we'll go with this one this is super berserk very very useful increase the attack power even though it does half your defense i mean it's still pretty useful uh, but we'll go with this and then uh, we'll see how this goes so honestly very very difficult and um I just got a feeling it's gonna drive me crazy. But we'll see how this goes. But anyway, hopefully you guys are still with us. I know it's been a while since I last uh, uploaded this. But I was kinda like a little sidetrack from games such as Tales of Zestiria. I did actually cover quite a bit of it, maybe around 25 episodes. And um I decided to go back to what I originally started. Games such as this, Pokemon Shuffle. I don't really want to have to neglect them, which I've kind of done so. <laughs> previously which I do apologize for but now I've pretty much dropped everything it's all about this so um wish me the best all right cool we just sneaked in a little light match there at the end uh, so we do have pretty much a I mean everyone in our team's level 99s with the exception of one um, even though that is the case there's still better monsters out there for us to use um, but with me being away from the game so much, I kind of really haven't put in time to experiment experiment with uh, too many other monsters. But we'll see what this team does for us here, and obviously we'll, we'll go from there. Alright, cool. Probably we'll go Berserk after this. Um, Berserk's going to be a move we're going to have to rely on a lot. Literally every battle we're going to have to rely on it. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll see how this does for us. Alright, we're off to a tough start here. Damn it. Yeah, so maybe you guys are thinking right now, we're struggling with the first monster. How on earth am I going to make it as a Sky Dragon? I mean, I did make it as a Sky Dragon in my first attempt. So let's hope I can make it back there on my second attempt. that attack boost here, we've got to be careful. Um, I'll go Berserk one more time, this should finish it off. And then we'll think a little bit more about healing for... the next turn. Alright, I don't really have to go with that, that Z orb there, but it kind of just fell into place. But it does guarantee the kill, and we move on to the next obstacle. Damn, we're super low on health there. Alright, never mind. So as you can see, that's one Dragonstone out of the two. Uh, the second one is there for the taking. We're not actually going to go for it right now. I'm not really too... interested in acquiring that. We just want to get on out of this place. In one piece. Alright, we'll take the direct route here. This is the quickest route um, straight ahead. And um. The good thing is, when you come up against these verse battles, it's kind of like a a place to recuperate. Because you're up against pretty much basic monsters, and they're not really going to trouble you too much, so... 
I see that as a useful thing. Um, I was supposed to heal this turn. My bad. Please don't kill us. Dragon's Law. Alright, we're good for now. Alright, let's get that healing in. Before we regret it. Alright. Had to dedicate that move to healing. My bad. That's actually a pretty solid move. I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, probably won't even do that much damage, but still. It's a nice little organized combo. Alright, cool. But he's got that Dragon's Law going for him, so do you know what? We gotta start taking this dragon a little bit more seriously here. We'll go Berserk one more time. Alright, solid move, solid move. Alright, we're definitely gonna heal up again here. Nah, I missed the opportunity there to match that fire, but never mind. But yeah, as I said, hopefully you guys are still with us. Hopefully you're still enjoying the series. Um, I know it hasn't really helped with all the, um, the breaks I've had in between. But if you are here, thank you very much. And um, this should be a good one. It's going okay so far. Maybe not great, but still, we're alive. So it can't be that bad. All about that healing. Alright, now his Dragon Lord's gone, we've got a bit of breathing space. And we go again. Alright. So dang close. Alright, sweet. So we've been going for around 8 minutes now. We're doing fairly okay. I mean, I didn't really have, really have a great amount of trouble getting to the Sky Dragon. Even though it looks difficult now, we should be able to make it. I mean, I'm pretty confident in making it. Uh, we'll go right here. We'll go with fire. Yeah, we made that water match there, it's not going to do anything, we've got no water types with us, so... Here we are, so the blue sky dragon is going to be water type, um, I think so anyway, I can't remember what it was now, but yo monkey, have you been using the Z box? Nick, we've used it a few times, but not really too often, but we'll go of course. I knew it, it's handy isn't it? Okay, I'm going to go now, see ya. Alright, that was lousy, come on Nick, at least give us some assistance, give us something, come on. Tough times here. Dang. Alright. What can we do? Uh, we'll go Berserk again. We're going to save that Super Berserk for the boss. I mean, we'll probably gather all our skill points back by the time we get there, but still. 
I'm taking the risks. Ah, okay. We'll count that with a reverse orb change to wood. Beautiful. Ah, that is beautiful. Seriously, that should be a kill. I mean, it's got to be a kill. Come on. Oh, so close. Almost, guys. Almost. I will probably try and hold on to this um, Z orb as well with fire. Um. Yeah, even though I said that, screw it. Oh god. I just got caught up in two mines for a second and I just blew it. But never mind, never mind. We're doing the right, we're on to the verse battle. Oh, we have a verse battle next, so maybe it would have been hard to hang on to. But yeah. One more berserk and. Oh god, it's this guy. Okay. Okay. Then we had so many water orbs there, which is a real shame. Which is why we did minimal damage. But you gotta be careful with this with this thing because it will kill you in one hit. So we gotta be very very careful. And because of that, we probably should go berserk again here. We're gonna go berserk again. Do you know, I was even thinking to go Super Berserk because we can't really take the risk. <laughs> but I think we'll be alright, I think we'll be alright. I hope. Okay. Okay, maybe it's time to start panicking now. Maybe it's time to start panicking. Oh god. Whew. The next move is it's gonna be crucial. It's gonna be crucial, baby. Here we go, it's all or nothing. Please come on. Yes, there we go. I don't know if you guys know, but actually. The reason why it's got such um, a long countdown is because it's going to kill you in one hit, so you got to kill that thing immediately. Anyway, Berserk just about got us through that. I think we have uh, probably a couple more battles until the boss, but you want to go into the boss with maximum health. Honestly, it's so, so crucial. And we literally don't have any skills to uh, gain hearts or anything like that, so even more crucial for us. We'll go Berserk again here. By the way, I really do love the look of this monster. Kind of looks like some sort of ice warrior. Really, really cool. But we shouldn't be admiring these monsters. They're out to kill us, remember? See what I mean? Ah, oh, come on. Wow, an egg! Jeez! 
Trink's gonna be that monster? I mean, you never know, but still, an Aquanite. Oh, I don't even know what that thing was called, but if I had to guess, I don't think it is gonna be that monster. Which is a real shame. But we're doing the right, guys. We're doing the right. You maybe think this is the last obstacle until the boss. There's gonna be another one obstacle after this. So let's not get too carried away yet. If this was the last one, that'd be awesome because uh, our health's looking pretty good. Oh, wow, that was a sweet combo. Alright, fully. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Oh, and one more thing. When you do reach the boss here, He's going to use a move called Giga Skill Break and he's going to suck away all your skills so when you get into the battle you want to use all your skills right away um, just to prevent that. Just in case you guys are also playing along with me. Yeah, and just kind of like focusing on, on getting to maximum health before we do kill this thing. Right, we don't want to kill it yet because he's probably going to attack us here we're on full health all right yeah he's attacking us but now we want to think about killing it um so we'll go berserk I got a little lucky with that Z orb there because I didn't really I moved didn't really go to plan. Okay, that move didn't really go to plan either. But we are full in health. Shoot! Damn it! Divine storm breath. Oh my god, that was super powerful. Okay. Avoid trying to kill this thing for now. Alright, I guess we've got no choice now. Um, what can we actually do here? Nothing. We literally can't do anything. Alright, cool. Well, we've killed it. We've killed it. We move on to the boss now, the Sky Dragon, the Blue Sky Dragon. And, um, it's not looking great. I mean, I gotta admit, it's not looking great. But still, we can hopefully turn this around. Now, he's probably gonna use Giga Skill Break. So, we'll get rid of all of our skills here. We'll go Super Berserk. And we'll also go with a Reverse Orb Change here. 
The main reason I'm doing that is because we want to get rid of all these waters, try and clear as many orbs as possible and try and get as many heart orbs on the field for us. So, <laughs> yeah, let's give this a shot. Alright, that was okay, it was okay. Nothing special, just okay. Giga Seal Break, as I said before. Alright. I mean, every move is so important, you need to at least deal a good amount of damage. And I think we're doing okay at the moment, we're almost halfway getting the job down that we're pretty much on maximum health ultra fiery of blows is coming our way please don't be too punishing it was pretty punishing um, but we're still in there we're still hanging in there now he's going to attack next turn as well so um how shall we prepare for this I don't know all right that was cool that was cool I'm happy with that we got the zero orb in there we got a couple combos Alright, that was okay. Please don't attack. Come on, give us at least one breather. Alright, same again. He's gone same again. Now, we can't actually heal from here on out. So, maybe we are screwed. Uh, let's see. Okay, Berserk. That's all we got. Okay, now the hearts come. Come on, please. Please go use this next turn. Please, please. Pray for me, guys. Pray. Oh, no. Alright, guys. Apologies for the cut. I'll be honest. I've had a bit of a tough time trying to take down the Sky Dragon. Uh, mainly because you've got to prepare really well for this. I mean, when you get to the boss, you need to make sure you've got full health. You need to make sure you've got a bunch of skill points because he will take away your skill points and uh, he probably will kill you in the first hit if you don't have maximum health. Well, maybe not the first, but at least the second hit. Um, now, we've got lucky. We've started off pretty well. We, we've used Super Berserk. We had two Z Orbs on the field, which was really, really fortunate for ourselves. We used them both. Um, it made a great deal of damage. You can see there, from one hit, we took away that much of his health, pretty much two-thirds of his health. And um, hopefully, we can actually wipe this monster out within our next turn. So let's give this a shot. Alright, so we've got another Z Orb in there, so decent combo. Please be enough. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, what a relief to, to actually have finished this level because it was, it's been a real pain. I started recording this video yesterday and then I kind of like gave up because I was trying over and over again just to beat this thing. It just wasn't happening. So it's a new day. We've got it done. We've got a Sapphire Dragon Egg, a Sapphire Dragon Rune Z. And we're finally out of here. So we can move on finally to the fifth labyrinth of Puzzle and Dragon Z. Ah, oh, it feels good. It feels good, baby. Alright. And there we go. So this is the fifth continent of the post-game. It's going to be a tough one. It's definitely going to be a tough one. But yeah, those last two dungeons I did visit, the Sky Dragon one and the one prior to that, very, very tough indeed. But anyway, well done for conquering the island Nif Nifliam, Nifelm, Nifim, whatever. But um, good old monkey defeated the Dark Blue Sky Dragon. Near Icarni for us. I'm glad the Dark Blue Sky Dragon was freed from her hatred. Syrup? Just one Dark Dragon... Just one dark sky dragon remains. Victory now would mean that a disaster is averted. It will be a tough mission, but I wish you all the best. Oh yes, we've received a report from the Logical Five. Oh, they're still around, that's cool. It seems that beyond the... What does that say? The Drassil area lies a place called Goldenland Eden. Goldenland Eden? You've been watching too much TV. Uh, I mean, Sir Captain, Sir. But really, this place sounds along the lines of UFOs and unicorns. Golden Land Eden just, is just some made up junk, not real, like monsters and sky dragons. Please Nick, 
I watch only the highest quality historical documentaries on television. They deal with normal explainable phenomena such as orb, energy and magical abilities. Well if you pass through the Yggdrasil area you will know the truth of these reports. Seen as believing after all. Captain, you're not angry are you? Hmm. It's high time you lot pushed on for the Yggdrasil area. Best of luck. As always the entrance to the area is blocked by a gate. This time it is the Earth Dragon King's Tree Gate. Alright and that does it guys and girls. Damn, some of the dialogue in this game is really difficult to actually pronounce. There's a lot of made up words and then there's just some words that I've never actually heard of before. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. It was a pretty quick one. I mean, it was just a one level within the dungeon. We got there in the end. Um, if you guys are playing, let me know how far you have come yourselves. We are pretty much approaching the end of this game. We have the fifth continent to get through. Then there's like one little area left, which I'm kind of guessing is going to be like a boss area. Um, I'm sure it wouldn't be that long, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be very, very difficult. But anyway, uh, stick around, guys. The next episode will be up very, very shortly. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.